there's competitors now ramping up. And yeah. as you're familiar with BYD, which is also on the West Coast, I think they're ramping up production of their electric vehicles. <laughs> uh, Warren Buffett owns 10% stake in that. Uh, why do you laugh? BYD <laughs> is trying to compete. Why do you laugh? Have you seen their car? I have seen their car, <laughs> yes. In fact, at the Berkshire Hathaway meeting, I saw their cars. Yeah. Well, they are on a different, they are on a different, <laughs> tell me Sorry. why you're laughing. Um, you don't see them at all as a competitor? No. Why is that? I mean, they offer a lower price point. I, I, don't, th I don't think they have a great product. Why is that? Um, I, I don't think it's, it's particularly attractive. The technology is, is not very strong. Um, and, and BYD as a company has pretty severe problems in their home turf in China. Right. Uh, so I, I think they, th their focus is and rightly should be on making sure they don't die in China. China has become the world's largest auto exporter, and it is just starting to ship electric vehicles, causing some concerns with the likes of Elon Musk and Tesla and a number of other car makers. The Chinese car companies are the most competitive car companies in the world. Um, so I think they will have significant success uh, outside of China, uh, depending on what kind of tariffs or trade barriers are uh, established. Uh, frankly, I think if, if, if they're not trade barriers established, they, they will pretty much demolish <laughs> most other car companies in the world. So they're, they're extremely good. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. I thought you guys would find that clip a little fun to start off the video. But it shows exactly what I have been saying for the last couple of months, if not so a year, where Neo is going and where Tesla is going. And people said to me, oh, you got to stop bashing. It's not a matter of bashing. It's a matter of having vision and seeing what's happening based on what the company CEOs are doing. Excuse me, guys. Now, Neo just made another move yet again to prove to me, I don't know about you guys, but to prove to me why we are going to be number one, why we're going to dominate the landscape, why we're not only going to be one of the top five remaining, but the number one. Neo EV Tech signed a deal on parts for high voltage system. Now, mind you, this is a company, EV Tech, that Neo Capital through William Lee, invested heavily in. Neo Capital backed EV Tech and Neo will jointly develop products based on Neo's STEM Young High Voltage Architecture, with deliveries to the Neo brand and Neo's second brand expected to begin in 2025. Neos has entered into a strategic cooperation agreement with a local component supplier, a local Chinese made, backed by Neo Capital, which I said, to co-develop and manufacture components for high voltage system applications. Zhejiang EV Tech Company Limited, headquartered in Hangzhou, Zhejiang Province, announced today that it signed a strategic cooperation agreement with NEO on March the 1st in Shanghai for a high voltage system project. Shanghai is a location for NEO Global Headquarters. So the, this high voltage project, as we all know, is the new standard that NEO has set for charging EVs at a faster rate, uh, liquid cool charging, so it's still safe. And some people, again, I know some trolls will come out on my channel, some negative Nancys, to say, well, wouldn't that make battery as a service um, redundant? No, it will not. Let me explain to you, boy. Battery as a service will always be dominant, even if you can charge the battery in five minutes because supercharging batteries causes battery degradation at a quicker rate. Battery as a service, and when you rent the battery and you don't buy it, you never have to worry about the bad battery. Remember that. EV Tech and Neo will jointly develop and produce products based on the electric vehicle maker's STEM Young High Voltage Architecture platform, according to a statement from the parts supplier. The two companies will work together to create IPUs, intelligent power units, 
which will enable core components to be shared across different vehicle models, improving product development efficiency and reducing costs. That's the main key here, reducing costs, according to the statement. The young IPU product can be adapted to the needs of multi-brand and multi-platform models and expected to be delivered to the NEO brand and NEO's second brand starting in 2025. So it's going to be available for our current brands and for the ET9. That's basically what they're talking about. Going forward, the two companies will work together on exploratory research and joint development of emerging technologies in the area of high voltage systems, according to the statement. An image in EV Tech statement shows Stem Young seeing the air sample coming off the line. Notably, EV Tech has previously been a supplier to NEO. As a core component supplier that has worked with NEO for a long time, EV Tech has received a Quality Excellence Partner Award from NEO for three consecutive years according to the component supplier. As a core component supplier that has worked with NEO for a long time, EVTech has received a Quality Excellence Partner Award. EVTech statement didn't provide more information on NEO's models, though its reference the NEO branded vehicle appears to refer to the ET9 executive flagship sedan, that spaceship, that futuristic spaceship that we're gonna unleash next year. NEO unveiled the ET9 in NEO's Day 2023 event and began pre-sales at a price of RMB $111,160 with delivery set to begin in the first quarter of 2025. The ET9 will be built on a 925 volt ultra high voltage platform. Again, we're setting the standard. Again, does this sound like a company going out, out of business for you guys? Or does it sound like a future behemoth that continues to innovate, that continues to do research and development to make sure we stay ahead? That will be a company that will make us millions of dollars in the future. So current high voltage system for mainstream EVs typically range from 230 to 450, which is commonly referred to as the 400 volt system with a voltage range of 550 to 900 volts are referred to as an 800 voltage high voltage system. We are going beyond that. High voltages help to increase charge speeds and reduce vehicle energy consumption, but place higher demands on the installation of components. This is why we continue to do research and development. This is why I say it will cause battery degradation as the years go by, and that's why only battery as a service is the winning business model. That is the only winning business model. Founded in August 2011, EV Tech specializes in the development and manufacturing of high voltage component products and is a major supplier of onboard chargers and onboard DC converters in China. EV Tech currently employs more than 1,600 people. Neo Capital invested in EV Tech in 2017 and the latter's products are used in NEO's ES and ET product lines as well as products including GSE Aon. So I hope this video gives you guys yet again further confidence. Now remember, I've said this before. Oh, and don't forget guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and share this all over your social media. Now, I keep saying this. Just like Claire Motion opened a factory in China, what, two days ago, no one knew that was happening. A lot of people always say to me sometimes on my channel, they make comments, hey, Mitch, um, how is the phone sales? How is this? How is that? See, Neo is tight-lipped about a lot of stuff. This is why in future earnings, People are going to be amazed at the amount of revenue we're making and they're going to say, well, where is this revenue coming from? Not only from EVs, but from the entire sector. And I say this again, whilst JP Morgan and all of them are spreading rhetoric to beat the stock price down, it's the only reason why it's down, so that they can buy more, we should not hate them for it. We should take advantage of it. Learn how to play the game and get into the game with them. When they beat it down and they buy, we also buy. King William Lee just bends his head and does not even come out and talk about the rhetoric. And he just keeps working and putting things in place. And then we hear, oh, this factory just opened. Oh, we just did this. Oh, we just did that. Because it's going to get to a point where they cannot beat it down anymore. 
as demonic and sick as they are in the Western medias, the lies, the propagandas, it will come to an end because they would not be able to spin when we're putting out record deliveries with the sub brands and make generating hundreds and thousands and millions of revenue from the swap stations and the other segments that we have. So I hope you guys found this video on a Sunday morning to be inspirational, motivational, and prepare you guys for Monday. I'm buying 39 more shares on the SoFi platform. I'm gonna leave the link for you guys again if you wanna join the SoFi platform to buy shares on there. And as I do trades this week again on my traditional IRA platform, I'm gonna be buying more again over there. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we try to wake up the middle class to get a piece of the pie. Where we, like 50 said, we get rich or we die trying, guys.